Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be a little chit chat catch up uh, handbag ban update. Uh, some questions that I got on my Coach Rogue 17 that I'm going to answer. And yeah, just a whole bunch of random catch up stuff. So I'm just going to get right into it and I hope you guys enjoy. So on my Boxing Day Reveals 2017 video, I mentioned that my resolution this year was going to be not to buy any more bags until Boxing Day 2018, which is crazy hard for me anyways. I'm very guilty of getting on eBay and like finding an old school bag and just buying it because it's a good deal and I'm going to stop doing that. That's my was part of the well, of course that's part of the resolution on a bag ban but yeah no more new bags just use my collection enjoy my collection because I have a lot of bags and I'd like to be able to actually rotate through the ones I have and love using those instead of adding 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 so one thing that I've really found that has helped me kind of with both of those things is some apps now this is not like a promotional thing for apps <laughs> or specific apps just some apps I found there are tons of different kind of apps that do the exact same thing so I mean just go through the app store search and find what would work for you if these things would be helpful anyways uh, the first thing that I really wanted when I went on my bag ban so I'm looking down at my phone <laughs> Uh, was an app like a countdown app so you could count down so I could see how much time was left on my ban so these are all just free apps as well because I wasn't paying for this kind of stuff <laughs> but uh, I found one app uh, and it's also on the Android so I'm not sure I'm assuming an iPhone would have almost the exact same type of of apps on the iPhone store but I found a countdown app called time until and it's free so it only lets you do one countdown but that's fine I don't need a whole bunch uh, I really liked um, you could add little backgrounds so I liked <laughs> I liked that <laughs> uh, but yeah I just typed in what I was gonna call my countdown so mine is leaving Ban Island because I'm on a ban I'm gonna leave that island I have 331 days left, 9 hours, 38 minutes, and 55 seconds. So it's really detailed with how it counts down, so that's nice as well. I kind of wish I could find one that also, instead of counting down, it also kind of counted up, if that makes sense. So you could tell how many days you've been on something at the same time, just so I could kind of look at it that way as well. But I mean, most importantly was the countdown instead of the progress counting, if that makes sense. So yeah, I found that app. I typed in what I wanted and set it up. And yeah, I can just click on it whenever I want and see how much time is left. There's still a lot of days. <laughs> but I've made it over a month so far. And honestly, I I still look at bags all the time because I can't not do that. It's <laughs> like what soothes me. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly looking I haven't seen anything that I really want over other bags that I'm already using in my collection if that makes sense anyways <laughs> that's a good thing because it makes me want to use what I have instead of adding more so yes so I got a countdown app because I thought that would be really nice to track the days and it is and I really enjoy it so that was the first app and the second one was a closet organizer uh, this one is called smart closet and there's tons of like closet organizing apps on the app store so you just have to search closet organizer and then I just browsed through them till I found one that basically did what I wanted to wanted it to do I didn't want one like they all you can put in all your clothes and your outfits and all that but I don't want it for that I just wanted it to track handbags and handbag usage so what I really like about this so you can upload uh, all your handbags from I don't know if, how people keep track of their handbags or if they do like with a spreadsheet or anything but I have a Pinterest board so I just will search the handbag and add a good image of it to the Pinterest board when I get a bag or I'll take out a bag from the Pinterest board if I sell it you know just then I can keep track of my collection in one little page and it's just easy to look at so <laughs> that's what I personally do so from that Pinterest board I just downloaded all of the images to my phone and then I could just 
batch upload them to this app from the gallery on my phone. So it's really easy to import everything. It took like, I don't know, five minutes. So that was really nice. Uh, I didn't have to like pull everything out, take pictures of it because I don't have time for that. That's a pain in the butt. <laughs> so I just really liked how user friendly it was that way. And I mean, you could even just Google image search uh, your bags and download those images and upload them if you want to do it that way on this app anyways. So I uploaded those. It has like tons of categories, but I just use the handbag category. So if you can hear my dog yawning, she's kind of loud, but <laughs> uh, she's in here. So I upload those. That's great. Uh, so there's the closet section, which is where I have all my bags. Uh, a lookbook, which I don't use because I just have bags, but like you could really integrate your whole wardrobe in this. But what I loved about this one is it has a calendar on it. So every day I can go into the calendar, click on it. Uh, how do I do it? Okay, yeah, so I go in the calendar and then I just click clothing. And then it brings up your categories. I just have one. And so then I'll just select whatever handbag I'm using that day. Uh, I'm not going anywhere today, so <laughs> my image for when I don't use a handbag, so I'm not going anywhere is the unicorn coach uh, <laughs> key fob. So I'll just put that on for the day. Uh, but yeah, then it tracks exactly what handbag I've used. Cause I've always, I don't know, I've always wanted to keep track of what bags I'm using so I can tell what bag I'm using the most that month or whatever. But I don't know, I never really had a very easy way to do it except for like, you know, writing it down and you know, sometimes you don't have time for that and you get distracted and yeah, so this is super easy. It takes like three seconds and then it's done. What I also love about this app is under its like more features, it has a statistics. So then you can go and it has like tons of look options, but again, I'm not using it for that. And then I would just click most worn item and it tells you exactly how many days you've worn each item. So that's fantastic. It really helps me to track like what's my most worn item so far. Um, I just got this in January, so I'm not sure if it can break it down month by month, but you know, as I use it for more months, I'm sure I'll figure that out. But anyways, I'm really enjoying that and I just really like, I like it. It's user friendly and it really helps me out with figuring out what bags I'm using. <laughs> not using, because I know what bags I'm using, but you know, how often I'm using a bag, what's the favorites right now, that kind of thing. So. Yes, those are two things that have hugely helped me out. I mean, if you have a smartphone, you can just, or even like a tablet, iPad, yes. <laughs> you just go in the app store. There are tons of countdown and closet organizer apps and you can just browse through and pick whatever one works for you or has the features that you want. These are the two that work for me and they are fantastic. I absolutely love them. So yes, it has been over a month since I bought a bag. So that's, yay, <laughs> we can do this. <laughs> 11 more to go. Uh, but yeah, so, so far doing good. I haven't, you know, broken down, caved or anything like that. I haven't really wanted to either, which is nice because usually I get itching to constantly buy like all the time because <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> but yeah, it's going good so far still on the ban, haven't bought anything. Yeah, so that is my little update on my bag ban to date. And I'm just gonna grab my Coach Rogue 17 and just answer the couple questions that I got on that one. So the first one was from Anna Young and she had asked me if you can put the Coach Rogue 17 on the crook of your arm. And unless you have like literal twig arms, you, you can't do it. <laughs> like. I can not even get my hand through all the way, so yeah. I would say no on crook of the arm on the 17. I'm pretty sure you can get your arm through and carry it on the crook with the 25 uh, and all the sizes up from there, but yeah, the 17, it's not gonna do that. The handle drop is only about, what is this, two inches, an inch and a half, so yeah, unfortunately, no, <laughs> you cannot carry the 17 on the crook of your arm. Uh, if you are just gonna use the little handles, handheld only. Uh, and then the other question I got was, can you tuck like the handles 
into the compartments, the slip compartments on the side of the bag. I think you probably could do that if you really wanted to. Personally, as a bag user, <laughs> I don't feel comfortable bending my bag and stretching it like you wouldn't have to do it an excessive amount, but I think you'd have to do it a little bit to get the handles to wedge down in there. So personally, I'm not going to attempt to do that, but I think if you did want to play around that you potentially could get them in there. But yeah, I don't put them in there and I'm not going to try to put them in there. So if someone knows that they actually will fold down in there, let me know below. <laughs> but I don't feel comfortable mashing my handles down. <laughs> so I just leave mine sitting on top, uh, even if it is like just kind of, you have to constantly move them to get in and out of the bag. I just work with that. <laughs> so anyways, those were just a couple questions that I got on that bag. So hopefully that answers them for you, <laughs> at least from my point of view. Lastly, I have also been asked a couple times to do an updated handbag collection for 2018, so I will be doing that. I was just wondering, do you guys prefer one humongous long video that has absolutely everything in it, or do you prefer collection videos where it's just like, this is my Rebecca Minkoffs, these are my Dunian Burks, these are my Louis Vuittons, these are my bags that I only have a few of, these are my Longchamps. Do you prefer them broken out per brand or one huge long video in which everything is included? Uh, let me know because I will, I will film everything if that's what you guys want uh, to see because personally I prefer it that way, but it's going to be really long so <laughs> I just wanted to see if people prefer just them separated out just because then the videos won't be like half an hour long <laughs> but yeah let me know what you think about that I may still just do one huge long video because personally that's how I like to view and <laughs> big collections but to each their own. Uh, let me know. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And if any of you are also on a bag ban for 2018, let me know how it's going. Uh, let me know if there are anything, uh, if there is anything that you guys are doing that I'm not doing that you're finding really helpful. Because you know, help each other out. <laughs> Stay on the ban island. Don't leave it yet. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let me know below. I would love to know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.